Chip Select CS can be controlled either by the SPI hardware peripheral or manually using GPIO software control. Choosing the right one affects flexibility and reliability. Hardware CS peripheral controlled. SPI hardware automatically toggles CS. CS goes active when transfer starts. CS goes inactive when transfer ends. Simple to use for single slave fixed frame transfers. Limitations. Often toggles CS per byte or per word. Limited control over CS timing. Not suitable for complex protocols. Command plus address plus data. Usually supports only one or few slaves. Software CS GPIO controlled. CS is controlled manually using GPIO. Full control over when CS goes low and high works with any SPI protocol. Required for multi-byte and continuous transfers. Advantages. Precise CS timing. Supports multiple slaves easily. Matches datasheet timing exactly. Works reliably with flash, displays, sensors. Common pitfall. Assuming hardware CS behaves like datasheet examples. Many SPI bugs come from hardware CS auto-toggling.